So I'm just going to be doing some uh, chess tactics puzzles here. I'm not sure how interesting it's going to be, but it's it's good motivation for me to actually do this. All right, to start out, I notice we have got two attackers on our bishop. Um, our bishop, uh, my first thought was to try to capture the pawn with the bishop, but it's pinned by their queen. But we can... Hmm. I was going to say we can capture the d pawn with our queen, but that gets that's guarded by the knight. Like there's um queen e six, which is a check, and also attacks the uh, knight. But after you know queen e six. King f8, like, if queen takes knight, you have queen takes knight, and that's, that's bad, so. Um, like, I guess we should go through all the checks, right? You've got, um, moving the queen to the back rank. Moving it to e8. Is that just checkmate? Because they can't. Because I know that cuts off all the squares right away. And it also. Um, queen can't be captured or intercepted. Yeah, that looks like checkmate. Hey, there you go. Alright, next one. A lot busier. Right off the bat, I notice our queen's under attack. That pawn is too technically there's pawn tension. My first thought the that pawn, our pawn on d5, first thing it's blocking off like a couple lines. It's blocking off our queen and our rook. So like I'm problem is, you know, pawn takes pawn, um knight takes queen. Rook, that d7 square is still guarded, so I don't think that's going to work. Going through all the pieces, um, all, first all the major pieces, the light square bishop and the king obviously don't have anything to do. The rooks are kind of waiting on files to open up. The dark square bishop does um, have some like ideas, but it doesn't actually have any safe squares. So it's pretty much going to have to be a pawn or a queen move. I guess you could tell that by the fact that the queen is under, under attack by a knight. But... The thing is, like, my natural instinct is try to find a way to, like, get momentum back. But, okay, the, the opening up attack is just going to lose the um, queen. The, the knight isn't trapped. Like queen b4, you just have, if nothing else, you, have, you always have knight a8, so you can't trap the knight. But what safe squares does our queen have? Like, there's, um... It looks like it's just, um, d4... Or diagonally backwards. I noticed d4 threatens h8. Which, oh, then they have to respond to the mate threat, right? On h8, so then you can pick up the knight. Is that the idea? I think so. Like, let's see. Queen d4. If they do something dumb, you go queen h8. Just checkmate. If they can respond. Yeah, yeah, that looks right. 
Okay. So that bishop is loose. It's not the move I was expecting, but it does guard the mating square with uh, the rook. It's not really a battery, but you know. But this bishop, I think, is like under is hanging, so we can just yeah. There we go. All right, next up, once we have our rook is loose and looking at another rook. So my first instinct is to just take their rook with mine, but that might not be the best move. We can either find a tempo move, which also, which like does something and guards the rook. Or just like, I, first thing I noticed was queen c4, which just attacks their king. Yeah, queen c4 actually. We have both the b and c files locked up. So they would have to move king d8, right? So then, yeah, then that drops the rock. Alright, that makes sense. Hopefully it's right. Let's try it out. Yeah, there we go. All right, and our next one here. I notice um, we have it almost set up for a back rank mate. Like, yeah, our rook, our, the D4 rook is pinned by their queen. But we have this, um, our G knight, G4 knight, is guarding off their, two of their escape squares. And their own pawns are guarding off the squares in front of their king as well. And then, so if we can just get a straight line moving piece to the back rank, we will win. Because um, the queen can also fill that role, so I guess we just need to. Hmm. I mean, like e five threatens to move there with the queen, and then if queen takes rook, we have queen takes queen because the queen is going to be pinned then. No, but that that won't work because their rook is guarding. I guess you could just move it to um No no, because for that to work your queen has to be able to guard your rook. And so if we move it to E E six instead, then they can just will drop the rook. Alright. There is queen h2, which is kind of scary looking, but they do have king f1. Like, let me think. Queen h2, king f1, queen h1. Yeah, then they have king e2. I mean, it's not like a terrible line, but I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, after that, you do have queen d1. So then... Yeah, and that's checkmate. I think that series might just work. It's, it's kind of hard to picture, but at the end of that, the king is going to be on e2 and the queen is going to be on d1, right? So 
we have um, their top and right edges guarded by the queen. And the queen's also checking them. So that just leaves the e3 square, which is guarded by our knight. Yeah, I, th I think that... It's such a, like, a weird looking line to me, at least, but I think maybe it'll work. Yeah, it did work. What do you know? Look at that. Alright, and we'll do one more, just for completion's sake. Alright, so our queens are looking at each other. We each have a rook on the other guys' uh, back rank. For checks, I notice um, c3 and b2, like queen c3, queen b2, are checks and king. Their pawn is actually guarding c3, but queen b2 checks the king fact is kind of close to mate and also attacks the rook but it is close to mate I just noticed so queen b2 will force um, them to move to h7 or h6 either way this h8 square is guarded so we can go queen h8 and if they're on h7 then that is going to be checkmate if they're on h6 it's also going to be checkmate because we have uh, our h4 pawn guarding the g5 square. Or they can do that. I didn't think of that, but so the good news is our move isn't wrong. I guess we just, we do now take the rook. Yep, all right. Well, that wasn't the smoothest end, but we still got it. Uh, thanks for watching.